It's it's next time on Trash Bin. Whoa. <laughs> Trash Bin. God, how long's it been for you guys? Cuz for us it's been like forever. It was so long. It's been weeks. When's the last it's time we were all sitting? 40 here? years. It's I've... been 84 years. All right. So these are all the suspects. How did this case start? Um Natasha's afraid. Strange threats. She started with strange threats. Yes. Yep, that's going to be right. Okay. Well, Deborah. Deborah gave us the. Deborah came. Threats. Oh no, nope, we're not sure. She's getting threatened. Okay, so it's because she's okay. Yeah. What? What do we? Oh, there we go. Natasha and the threats, but what's the connection? They make her suspicious. She's the source of them. They were clearly addressed to her. Yeah, the threats are meant for Natasha. Oh God. No doubt about that. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, Dev. Dev. Okay. Oh, it's a clue. Um, uh, Natasha's afraid. Nope. Oh, wait. Items. Um, that'll, could be important, but not now. Oh, yep. This is it. Okay. Oh, we're, we're tying strings together. <laughs> Speak it's Kishano Simulator. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> um, she kept it secret. She lied about it. She showed it to us. Well, because she gave us her key, right? And, like... What was that not right? Uh, she kept it secret. Natasha is terrified. Yeah. And she's in real danger. But she kept this list hidden from oh, us. Oh, the list hidden. It okay, seems too right, important right, right, right. to keep it a secret. Uh -huh, I guess that uh -huh, does make uh -huh. sense. Okay, now person. Uh, person. Uh, 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 is it Deborah uh, or Olivia? Um, I think it's Ibn. Ibn. Almost, but not quite. All right. I'm not sure. Deborah? Could be important, but not. Lewis! All right. What? It's Lewis. That's our neighbor. Uh, the, yeah. ma the, the bunny. Um, he Lewis didn't drop Deborah off. What the can list? we do with this list? He may know something. He may have something to do with it. It makes him suspicious. He used it as a diversion. He may I know, know only one person who moves in circles high enough to know where it's from. Lewis. We must ask him if we want to get out of this dead end. All right. All right, let's go. Case closed! Did we do it? Okay. So the card is uh, uh, maybe a dead end. The piece of painting, too. But the list Filmar gave us... Exactly. Full of those imposing oh. names. And I only know one person who moves in similar circles. Uh, it's Lewis! Lamar. Pick me! Yes, Marty. It's Lewis. <laughs> I'm Lamar. Of course, it's Lewis. But where do we find the bunny man? Well, since he owns this building, I'm hoping he's here. It's worth a call. Oh, we gotta call him again. number? By heart. 555-932. Five, 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 I wrote it. I appreciate the game well. uh, oh, doing that. Oh, you are a professional, boss bird. Okay, five 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 nine three two. <laughs> five 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 nine five, three two. Five nine three three two. Also, we should probably ask him some things since he dropped Deborah off. And now she's dead. Hey, yeah, he did uh, drop Deborah to off. You. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Hey, could you come over to my place? I uh, have a question for you. It's very important. It's about a case. It's did you kill Deborah? Were you okay? Chicken police? Of course, Sonny. I'll be over in a few minutes. Okay. 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 Thanks, Pat. I, I owe you. He's not. I don't. He's stutter. <laughs> Are you the chicken police? Yeah. Yeah. But you're detectives. Right. We're, no, they're, they're police officers. We're, we're, they're just, we're Sunny suspended. And... Sunny suspended and retires in 120 days or something. Yeah. And uh... Marty is his old partner that shot him with a shotgun. Damn. That's metal. <laughs> yeah. Which pocket does he keep that in? <laughs> it's in the truck of the car. Ah. The big pocket. Yeah. Thanks, Lewis. <laughs> the the uh, ultimate yeah. pocket, oh, don't if you will. Mention it. Besides, it was my big dream to help you with a serious case. Well, let's hope you can help. What can you tell me Everybody about this? Everybody wears list? gloves. Oh, so many people hmm. wear gloves. Well, well, these names. 
I know half, half of them personally. I love Lewis. Maybe even more. I knew it. I love Lewis. But I, I have no idea what kind of list Point this at. is. Ow. Here we go. But these are all members of the upper c c class. Politicians, business people. Oh my. <clears throat> even the commander of the Royal Guard. But I really don't Oops. know what it means. So, is it a dead end? I'm afraid so. I don't, that's, mm, I don't think mm. it is, buddy. I don't think it I is. Didn't see, I didn't see her after the sh show. If I'm not mistaken, she usually leaves when everyone else has already left. What else do you know about her, Lewis? Oh, not much. What everybody knows, she was a d d dancer, then a backing singer, then st star, and then club owner. We found out as much already. Do you think she'd fled the Stavonian massacre? That's why the secrecy. Do you mean the massacre of the royal f family? I'd say her accent is a dead g giveaway. Okay. And her name, too, though it's undoubtedly an alias. So it's possible that she is a part of the royal oh family. Oh, my God. I d d d don't think so. Dun, dun, dun. Nobody could have survived that whole, whole awful night. Uh, you're probably right. Huh. All right. Uh, ask I you don't about... know what you s s s said to him, but after you finished, he almost immediately then then disappeared. Really? That's suspicious. Or it is. he had business elsewhere. It's New Year's Eve. Sunny. Everybody's going somewhere. Listen, Sunny. All right. Time. Deborah. The girl who came. I don't to like tonight. Sunny for the murder. Yes, she's a very what? lovely young lady. Where did you take her after you two left? Wait, where she? Do you think I was implying that Sunny did it? The Flowerville. Flowerville. Sorry, I don't like giving. Rochester oh. Street, thirty-seven. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I think it's time Why? we ask the real Luck. questions. Do the chickens have nipples? Uh, <laughs> unclear. Nothing good. Lewis. Nothing good. Are they called chipples? Oh, chipples. Oh, my goodness. Chipples? Chick I think chick we have a chick bingo, chick gentlemen. You see, I also have one of these. Is a it a gun? Like oh. this? No, it's a. Really? It's a yes. like a business card. It's a membership card to a very exclusive club. Oh. How exclusive? Very. That's what I'm talking about. What does S N mean, Lewis? It's the s s s sweltering mm. Nile, but. That's a... Well, yes, it's a brothel. But oh! It's not, not like that. It's something completely different. Calm oh, down, Lewis. We're not going to tell anybody. Thank that you so, doesn't... so much. It is rather embarrassing. Are Listen, we going Lewis, to a brothel? How do we get in? You want to get in? Well, if you could show them this card we're about to go to a brothel you in, but it will be obvious you are right, listen so there. two cocks walk into a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> are we going to a luxury fucking <laughs> marty's on the same page thanks for the help lewis i owe you one for the third time today i think unless oh. you killed deborah in which case I'm kind what of should we know about yeah, right? the place lewis <laughs> besides what they're uh, dealing in there no it's an elegant and exclusive place not everybody visits them for, for, for that you know some animals just go for c c company uh-huh mm -hmm. i uh -huh. see i guess it's mostly visited by the upper class m m mostly yes the wealthy who oh. have a taste yes. for flesh of course. is it true what they say that it's some kind of hidden stronghold of the royalists the nile is a proud herald of the coexistence of all the species yes but stronghold i don't think so but the place must be an eyesore for the separatists right god there's so much political what intrigue this in this of the clone? <laughs> yeah <laughs> like quite well but what the fuck separatists wouldn't dare to go near the place well, is we'll this fucking star wars <laughs> uh, that was a little bit um equivocal hey Okay. What is happening? Sure. Somebody's gonna get their chicken tender. We're going to a brothel, baby. It's the only place we can go. All right. Well, I guess we're going to the sweltering Nile. Chapter two. Yes. 
We've made it to chapter two. Censored some episodes. Wait, what? The separatists. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. Hated the place. Oh, they are they gonna get their chicken tenders fried or whatever? <laughs> However you wanna put that. So the place wasn't just a brothel; it was a symbol. But Marty's like really excited. Like actually? Yeah. Right. Mar Mar Marty loves the ladies. All right. Marty, I need you to get your shit together. Well, You've got a loving your wife, I think. See, look. The kingdom of long legs, silky skin, and fluttering lashes. <laughs> Fucking Marty. We've arrived. Calm down, Marty. Watch your blood pressure. Oh! Yeah, Marty, I know you got a bunch of guns <laughs> in your pocket, but... <laughs> it's fucking lever. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, there's so many... Oh! Oh! Guys, I'm starting oh to think God. this game might have been made for furries. I'm not certain. <laughs> no, but if they were furries, they would be more animalistic. Yeah. It's weird that they just have human heads. Or they just have animal heads and human bodies. Alright, alright, so we can only... These brides are elegant. This is actually... Just like Laszlo said. As hard as it may Lewis. be to believe, this is what do you think not be the far enough for type. most of the furry Fluffy community. tails? <laughs> yeah. Furry I guess that's ears, fair. A raspy tongue? Oh, for the love of all the gods, stop it. But just think about it. I don't want to think about it. shut up, Marty. Alright, so picture? Oh. Oh. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> that woman, she's familiar. Do you think it's her? I think the I used to buy cornflakes with her on. <laughs> Marty, do you have to say it out loud? It gives me goosebumps. Anya the Tiger. Can bump some more light. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if it's really her. She's great. She's confused by the exotic ones, but yeah, maybe. Honestly, it gives me the creeps. <laughs> me too. <laughs> All right. Um, let's look at Lemur Lady. She's what I call an exotic beauty. Oh, oh God. <laughs> hey, every animal's the most beautiful thing in the world to someone. Yeah, you're right. Marty will I fuck anything. You, but I go weak in the knees for stripes. Oh, he likes Please, stripes. Please, Marty, I don't want to know. And I don't care. Keep it to yourself. And let's get out of here. Oh, quick. no, we're going to click on everyone. Can't I even talk to you anymore? You can't not why you've got that fucking what I can only life. assume is an erection <laughs> and not a connected if you want to know. Yeah, old fart. My god. <laughs> All right, let's look at bird fe bird fella. Bird fella. He looks like a bald eagle. <laughs> that guy's stare gives me the creeps. You're not excited uh, about him, Marty. Why. You're excited about literally I everyone told else. Myself that birds are weird. He's like he likes ladies. Say, huh? <laughs> what? Me? Nothing. Birds are weird. Yeah, he did say <laughs> birds are weird. Pictures. Birds are weird. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> what is going on on the left? What am I looking at? It's a snake! Is it? Oh, oh fur. You swallowed so hard, the whole place... <laughs> are you kidding me? I've never seen anything like this before. Marty, I can hear you getting a direction. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> Very I upset. Know. Vice? <laughs> you really must be joking. Vice in Clawville. Sean, you may have to blur some of this. <laughs> Pulling her leg. Right? He puts some yeah. stuff over it's this. It's a little hot in here. Now oh, cool down, Marty. Don't even look over there. <laughs> Don't Remember even look. Laura, your wonderful girlfriend, whom you love more than anything. You don't need to tell me. All I'm thinking about is her. I don't think that's that true. <laughs> I don't think that's... More like my nuggets. <laughs> that's... <laughs> Okay, let's yeah, talk she's about. gonna murder you. Let's talk about this. Laura, Laura, Laura. Laura, Laura. <laughs> That's it, Marty. Just slowly turn <laughs> away from the pictures. My God. Laura, 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 Laura. That's it, Marty. Just slowly turn away from the pictures. Oh my God. Somebody had to make these. Somebody had to go oh into my. Photoshop and make these. Whoa. <laughs> what? I, I don't even know. Good. God. Hey, what keep it down, happening? Marty. I see it now. Of all that's furry. Yes, it's very furry. Or more like. Uh, oh my god. Shaggy. You actually may have to blur. I, you know, I was getting it first, and I was like, I don't know. YouTube might. 
Uh, the, the episode with the body will be a clear indicator of what I got to blur. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay, um, Foxy Lady first. Oh, let's look at her. Oh, I can't look at her. Can't look at her. I can look at her. I think she must be the receptionist. Behind the desk. Mr. Detective. Why does it have to be like that all the time? Well, sometimes I seriously can't decide if you've become totally stupid over the years, or it just entertains you to yes, act guy. that way. I was gonna say, I feel <laughs> really attacked. That's a good question. <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. All right, Foxy Lady first. Excuse me, gentlemen. Would you be so kind as to help me? With mm. pleasure, ma'am. The zipper always comes down on my dress. Would you kindly... Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> what am I, your mother? Do what you want, for God's sake. Happy to help, ma'am. Oh, what a gallant young man. Ugh, luck and lord. <laughs> oh, I have to do it! It's a mini game! It's a mini game! <laughs> what do you have to keep it in the middle? <laughs> you don't, don't, don't pull too hard. You're gonna wreck it. Ah. Oh, thank you, I, honey. I'm an expert. Hey, Marty McChicken. Thank you, darling Marty. I'm much Chicken, please. Is this fucking expert, Reba McIntyre? It is a, a I mean. <laughs> All right. How did they get Reba McIntyre for this game? All right, let's talk to the receptionist. My name I is Day-Night Diamond. Welcome to the sweltering Nile, gentlemen. I don't See, think that that's she's good. Name. I'm Sunny. And this is my She's partner, Marty. Arm. If I may, miss, you have a beautiful name and exceptionally Marty. wonderful stripes. Marty. Marty, <laughs> now. Oh, thank you very much. Please excuse him. He doesn't visit places like this very often. Uh, me neither, uh, to be honest. Oh, nothing to worry about, gentlemen. There's a first time for everyone. You're absolutely right. Marty! We're just interested in a certain Marty lady please. called Deborah. Deborah? We don't have any employees by that name right now. Oh but if God. you want, <laughs> any of our girls would love to be Deborah for a night. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, excuse me, you misunderstand. Uh, oh she doesn't work here. Robert. I'm afraid I don't follow. It's kind of confusing, but let me try to explain. Please, I'm at your service. I'll gladly answer any I'm so the glad questions. these are the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me god, too. I had no idea, but wow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh yes, I can ask her so much stuff. Okay, uh, uh I'll ask you about know Lewis. a gentleman named Lewis C. Hayworth? Of course I do. Mr. Hayworth is a regular guest at our establishment. I see. Uh, how regular, if I may ask? I can't give what you any I information like about that. House policy. We have that too. It's called the law, ma'am. If you have any questions of that nature, please come back with a warrant. Ah, uh, touche. Right, I don't know if we should ask about the list names. To you? Oh, oh well, I'm not sure. No, nothing. Don't you see some familiar names on there? I do. But everybody knows those animals. Personally, I have no contact with any of them. I see. Oh, oh shit. thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. 100 percent a client list. So have you been working here long, miss? Right. Almost five years, sir. And do you like your job? Very much so. I think it's only worth doing anything if you honestly. The giggling in the background. It. You hear that, Sonny? You should take that advice. I'm on it, Marty. I'm trying to get myself fired, if you haven't noticed. Yeah, and me too. Collateral damage. Cocklateral damage. Look, ah! this to us. The girl named Deborah, the one we uh, ah! asked you about. I see. Do you know what this is? Of course. It's a membership card. Was this you person a regular here? <laughs> if this belonged to her, then yes. I can check for you. Please. The ladies will entertain you while you wait. I'll be right back. Uh, thank you. She's Very much obliged. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna die. Yeah, this oh, she's gone. Seem like... yeah, she's Are you gonna talk to the chicken man? <laughs> Bird fella? 
Yeah, bird fell. Right, well, I guess I can only talk to fuck. I invite you gentlemen for a drink, perhaps? No, thank you. We're no, in th a hurry. Thanks, Reba. Oh. Marty! <laughs> Damn it, Marty. <laughs> Damn it, Marty, please. We're on the job. Um, can I go to the door? I apologize oh. for the wait. Oh, sorry. Please, come with me, gentlemen. All right. So you were oh. successful. How, how often do you say that? Madam Zavas would like to meet you. Go ahead, Sky. You mean oh, Madam Zavas? <laughs> as far as I know, there's only oh. one of her, so, yes. Please, what? miss. <laughs> yes, to her. It's a fucking alligator. It's Adam Zavas was a legend in Clawville. Her name was known all over the wilderness. She's Why is this? Royalist. What about it? A member of the Council of Twelve. It's just weird that it's an alligator. Assassin, Why? Businesswoman and courtesan. I, I was just, to be honest, I don't know. I, I didn't even know she was still alive. For she me, it's just the name, the man. For sure, she could also be my mother, or maybe my grandmother. First, Ibn Wessler. Now, her. I highly doubt Honestly, it, dude. Tonight, it wouldn't surprise me if His Majesty Hector the Third didn't grace me with his presence. All right. All right. Let's look around. Tribal artifacts. Pieces. Whoa! Oh my God! She's so big. It's the art of my people. God, she could uh, eat you in like a bite. <laughs> there are many kinds of crocodiles oh, she's in crocodile. the wilderness, Mr. Featherland. This is the art. Of the Nilanites. Ah, hence the name, the sweltering Nile. It's a river, Mr. Featherland. My ancestors lived by this river a long time ago. So does ah, she own this brothel? Uh, yes. I th yes. Tribal artifacts, dead clock. Picture is that? Oh, we're gonna look at that, that picture. Her? Oh, we're gonna look at that picture. Oh. We're gonna look at the dead clock first, though. Is that the time already? Have is that a dead clock? Clock's not working. <laughs> How observant you are. That clock is, is that a clock in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> just her mouth going. I got I got it. Indeed. Every kind of book. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Slime and Punishment. Oh, wait, hold on. Owls Don't Blink. Slime and Punishment. Seven Pieces of My Mind. The Death of the Horse. 49 Years of the Reptile. One Key to the Animal Mind. What? Ah, puns. <laughs> there are books here on quite a variety of topics. All right, cool. All right, here we go. What a painting. Congratulations, man. <laughs> what? Marty. Yes. It's beautiful indeed. <laughs> it's look at her. See, look at her hands, Sean. Old. Yeah, you it's know, still weird. I was considered pretty then. What do you mean? Oh, don't say that. You still look great, man. Oh, think... Marty, you're. Thank you. You're... It feels good, but no, there's no need for lies. Those days are long gone. Every age has its truth and its beauty. For me. Beauty is not in the looks anymore. I Man. agree, ma'am. Uh -huh. I just want to die hot and young. Is that so much to ask? <laughs> See, she's got scales, like, on her back. <laughs> I, what, Sean? I, uh, is this no. not art? <laughs> this is art. Don't sully it with... <laughs> uh. All right. Let's actually... Well, let's look at her. Look, so I just she want... is the legendary Madame Zavas. What do you want? What? <laughs> I just want some logic and reason to be consistent. Let me no. introduce myself. No, absolutely properly. fucking not. Mr. Santino. We've already had like four conversations. Yeah, right. <laughs> I also know your partner. The legend of the chicken police. Is always <laughs> one step <laughs> what? Chicken I need them to stop uh, saying thank you. chicken That's police. <laughs> That's what they are! They're the May chicken police! It ruins for, exactly. my entire immersion yeah. of Only thinking tonight. this is real. You know, what? You think this? Wait, back up. Hold on. I have questions. I mean, like, that it's a, a world that exists. We haven't seen mm. for a long time here. And the name? Unfortunately, no, Mr. Santino. That's confidential information. In my line of work, 
Discretion is everything. Well, well, <sighs> you know, in our line of work, the law is above everything. She's gonna oh, eat your ass, dude. You literally. <laughs> I could tell you what your colleagues think is also above everything, but as I said, uh, discretion. Uh, look, ma'am, we don't want to. Was impose. that a top joke? I don't know. A private investigation, <laughs> which started off it is now. harmless, but now it's murder. It is now. That sounds serious. It is serious. That's why we'd be grateful for your help. In that case, I'm at your service. Ask your questions. And I'm going to answer to the best of my knowledge. As long as you're not wading through muddy water. What is that? Fortunately, mean? I swim very well for a chicken. I swim well too. Are we hitting on each other? I don't, I don't know. know what's crocodile, happening. so yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh let's ask you about Lewis. Lewis. Lewis Hayworth is a good friend of mine. It uh, surprises me that he's a regular here. You wouldn't believe our clientele. <laughs> you would be shocked. No doubt. Lewis, uh, does he come here often? That's confidential. Oh, not so often. Thank you for the vague answer, ma'am. The mystery is thrilling. The thrill is life itself. That was beautiful, ma'am. <laughs> God damn it, Marty! Marty, I need you to... This place uh -huh. is just our <laughs> home with the girls. Uh, it's a sanctuary. Really? Uh, how? It symbolizes why the city was founded almost a thousand years ago. Unity. Love. Freedom. Interbreeding? That too, yes. Do you have a problem with that? Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't. My girlfriend's a predator. <gasps> really? Who is he? I'm glad to hear it. Who's what? What's his girlfriend? I don't know. We've never met her. We just know her name's Laura. God, now I'm picturing like a Doberman that's gonna fucking rip his dick off when she <laughs> finds out what he was doing. Uh, strange. As I was saying, it belongs to us. Only our most valuable guests have one of these. And our employees, of course. The employees, too. Good to know. Can you tell me if this card belonged to a guest or an employee? No. Wait. I thought so. Nope. Yes, Nothing. Thank you. Uh, nope. You can go fuck. Yourself. Hard no. No. Uh, tell me, names? have you ever seen this list? I have. Am I right to assume it has something to do with the sweltering Nile? It does. Yes, but I can't <laughs> tell you more about it. No. Discretion Great. is key. It's Absolutely. a client list. Yeah, but... Do you know Natasha Katsenko personally? Yes, I do. Tell me about her. Warm-hearted. Protective. Quick-tempered. Fierce. Yes. Fierce. Thank you. Very useful. She All used right. to work here. Oh! Oh, we can question her. We gotta uh -oh. question her. Deceit. Is everything to say? Oh no! Why you do they ever smile. make you look? Like <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Sean's been saying that the whole time. Oh it, my god! It's terrible. They're just—it's not great. It's not great. <laughs> That was so funny. To survive, Mr. Featherland. That was good. And because I've been taught, I know how to survive. I always was what I had to be. And you managed to dodge my question. Clever. Well, you see, this is one of the typical elements of survival. This one's gonna be the hard, Sean. A delicate question, and still making the questioner believe he got the answer. <laughs> But you're too cunning and experienced, aren't you? <laughs> you're not an easy one to fool. I'm trying to maintain appearances, ma'am. You should. Oh, appearances, God. most of the time, are stronger and more dangerous than the truth. All right. That was a lot of words. Oh, boy. Okay. Um. Mm -mm. Is it a... 
Oh, fuck. I don't know. I mean, I can't, if she's not going to answer. She's not going to answer anything when you ask her. Uh, well, then it doesn't Tell fucking me. matter. Were you really the king's spy? If that's such an open secret, then I haven't been doing my job very well. Isn't that right? <laughs> Yes, I was a spy. Oh, all right. But that's such a blunt way of putting uh, it. All right. I always say I used to undertake confidential, generally political assignments of a I, delicate I, 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 nature. You killed people, people, right? She's she killed people, right? She's security. killed people. Put that way, it sounds rather romantic. Don't believe the cheap fiction, Mr. Featherland. Espionage is anything but romantic. I believe you, madam. With my powerful if you must jaws, know, I only did it because I believe <laughs> I could protect those that I serve. Weapons have only one use in this world. To keep what? peace. I can't get yes. over the phrase, but romance. I always <laughs> thought about myself and my craft that way. Thank you for your honesty, ma'am. Oh, God, so many questions. Uh, Uh, okay. What's your detective meter? Uh, it it's like this way is better. How are you doing on the question? Yeah, basically, yeah. All right, well you're Why doing you thoroughly average. Open a brothel. You know, this place used to be an orphanage. Then after uh -huh. the great avian plague, a hatchery. We just then called it Blur Your mothers lived here, who had nowhere else to go. Sean. That's when I took over. Young mothers and prostitutes. That feels like a sharp turn. All right, I got some no, codex no, entries out of that. Happen like that, of course. The process took twenty years, but one thing remains the same. I wanted to help girls who had nothing and no one. To help them. And this was the best you could do: helping them sell their bodies. You see things very superficially, Mister Featherland. We're a family who helped each other even at the worst of times <sighs> to care of each other and what's most important survive. she's all about survival yes survive she keeps no saying survive cost. like and it's the cherry saying. on top of the most treasured secrets of the rich and famous very insightful mr featherland there's truth to that knowledge is power as they say and we know a lot about powerful animals that could be used as weapons. Hmm. Or the opposite. <laughs> that could avert a war. Oh, hmm. all right. All right. Only one option. If I guess who the card belongs to, will you tell me? I wouldn't say that's an acceptable price for such a secret as this, but if you guess right, I won't lie to you. Good. Let's see. The answer to my question, Natasha Katsenko. Well, Mr. Featherland, it seems the gossip about you is right. What gave it away? It couldn't have been easier. There's a beautiful woman with a mysterious past, trying to keep it a secret, while someone's threatening her with the exact same thing, leaving rather unmistakable messages behind. Plus, we found the card on Deborah, who was her best friend and confidant, so she was either trying to hide it or destroy it forever so no one could find out the truth. Am I right so far? Indeed, Mr. Featherland. So if I'm not mistaken, Natasha used to work for you before she met Ibn Wessler. He fell in love okay. with her, gave her a job at the Millions Club. I'm glad Sonny put the all that together. Is history. You have yeah. talent, Mr. Featherland. I'm really sorry you're not working for the government. I am working for the government. I'm a cop. Are you sure, Mr. Featherland? I mean, I I'm retire sure. and... You Indeed. Know. Natasha used to work here. I retire in 120 we days or that way, 109 but you know, days. If you want, this we can get you a job here. <laughs> yeah, right? She also lived here. She was part of our family. And we still love her very much. Right. That puts everything in a different light. Save us is a true survivor. Ah! And she's proud of that, even to this I day. I don't like it. Maybe I can get her to trust me if I play to this part of her. Oh, God, there's more. Oh, oh fuck. Now we're doing the thing. 
Okay, let's play to her being a survivor. Okay, uh, get her to trust me. You tried to protect her from what? Maybe you saw yourself in Natasha. You tried to shape her in her image. Uh, you like I, protect. I like, yeah, I like the I like the dangerous answer. I like everybody to say the dangerous. Why is that? You're a survivor. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I like protect her, but that's me. Because that seems like you're asking her like what she was trying to do to keep the people safe. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely one of these two. But for this one specifically, we're trying to tap into her survivor thing. Mm. Her being like, I'm a survivor! Everyone in the city people. thinks you're dangerous. Nah, that Why Reba's out that? front. There are many legends in the city about many things, Mr. Featherland. I, have you seen my mouth? Have heard that you too had solved all your cases. Yeah, right. Is that true? You know it's not. Uh, I hear things. The truth comes out when we come face to face with it. There's one case we never solved, though the press said otherwise, thanks to political pressure. Fascinating. And you see how much easier it is now that you've said it. You managed to dodge my question again. You're very good at that. My answer is maybe. Maybe I am dangerous. But only if someone stands between me and my goals. Like Which a are? Piece of meat. Uh, I'm an old woman now, Mr. Featherland. All I right. care for nothing knew it. except the well-being yeah. of my girls. Excuse she must protect me, him. but I can't believe that. All right, well, Mr. Featherland. Just, uh, God damn it. You're capable of anything to keep your secrets hidden. Am I right? Do you mean like sending obscene threats to Natasha to remind her of her sordid past? So you know about the threats? Of course I do. Who do you think Natasha came to for help first? You, perhaps? Please, don't make me laugh. If you want to know, I wasn't even her second choice. Even Mr. Philmar Lowe entered the picture earlier than me. Should I tell you I'm sorry to hear that? Don't bother. Oh, minus 20! Oh, God, we went way down. Jesus. We fucked it up. We you fucked it up. You know where Natasha <laughs> came from before Clawville? Naturally. The poor dear couldn't even deny it. Even her name's eloquent, her accent. But and most it's hard. Manner, this shit is Mr. fucking hard. She's from Stovos. And she belongs like we did good on the first one, and then it's just gone downhill from there with the questioning. She could barely even speak the language when I first met her. That's all you know about her. An ex spy like you must have checked up on her new protege's past. That's the most exciting thing. Yes, I have multiple times putting my most treasured connections to good use, but nobody found anything. Natasha's trail could only be traced back to the hmm. Stavonian border. Interesting. What happened in that country, no one knows. It's rather curious, don't you think? It is, Mr. Featherland, yes. Curious. That's why I've always been... rather fond of Natasha. Did it touch My... you deeply when she left you? Indeed. <laughs> it did. Zavos is protective. <laughs> <laughs> it seems she's dedicating her whole life to her project. Uh, if I concentrate on that... Alright, now we're switching focus to today. protective. Okay, we still got a chance. Alright, have you kept in touch? Why did you literally leave a closer? I, I, like I feel like it's wide... In... Oh. I like kept in touch with her Wesley. Yeah. yeah, I like. I feel like I this feel one like... is attacking her a little bit, though. Yeah, See, but I feel like have you kept in touch is prying. Personal, I don't know, but maybe, maybe it's not. It uh... literally all depends on the tone of how he asks. I know. That's why this is so fucking hard. Because like I could see her being like, "Oh, you want to know how much contact I had with her?" But if you do the other one, it's like, I could see it being an attack too. I don't know. Have you kept in touch? No, only occasionally, Mr. Featherland. Gut feeling. She to me every few weeks. And but very rarely we talk on the phone. But I haven't heard from her in weeks. Say, okay, say. I started to worry about her. This is good. Did this she give good. no sign of being in trouble? Never. 
No. Natasha's not the kind to talk about her feelings. Yeah, I've noticed that myself. All right, plus ten, plus ten. Okay, that's good. Okay. <sighs> When's the last time you saw her? Or were you angry at her for leaving? I feel like last time. Cause I feel like this is like yeah. accusing her again of threat. Like. Yeah. Already established that she's when was the last time yeah. you saw her, Madame Zavas? Maybe around two months ago. There was a ball attended by Ibn Wessler, his beautiful mate Natasha, and myself. Yes. Was she herself? Did you feel like she was afraid or worried about something? On the contrary, she was unrestrained, free, radiant. She was in love. Yes in her own unique way. What do you mean? Yeah. You know Natasha loves on a different level than most Clawville women. Or most women in the wilderness, in fact. Maybe it's because of the Stovonian origins. Perhaps it's something else. So you didn't notice anything strange about her? Well, if anything could be called strange, it was that I saw a woman positively floating above the ground, who previously used to stand on it with two feet. I see. Thank you, madam. Oh, how did you feel when you learned she was going to leave? Oh, we got plus ten on that one. Yeah. How did you feel when you learned Natasha was going to leave? Honestly, I was very hurt. I loved her as a daughter. How would you have felt? I couldn't say. And I still couldn't stop her, and you know why? Of course I do. Because you loved her. You've been in my shoes before, am I right, Detective? Yes, I can feel you have. This isn't about me, madam. Please stop changing yeah. the subject. Yeah, stop it. I have felt betrayed on a certain level. Yes, and offended, and alone. Even amongst all my friends. Were you disappointed in oh. her? Only in myself, Mr. Featherland. But I have a hunch you know this feeling very well. Yes, you're right. Well, thank you for your time, madam. Any time, detective. Yes. Any time. 60%? Okay. All right. All right. We're decent, decent cop. cop. All right. Decent cop. My God. I'll take it. And I'll take it next time on Trash Bin. Next time on Trash This one went long, but I didn't want to stop mid-, yeah, mid we Next long, time on Trash time. Bin, we'll escape this place. Yes, we will, and the picture's on the way out. Next, Blur us out! Blur us out! <laughs>